Hey there, this is Buford and thanks for checking out this video. Season of Discovery went live on November 30th and this season of Classic World of Warcraft has introduced players to a new experience that may not have been truly felt since vanilla Classic World of Warcraft's launch. And that is a feeling of uncertainty and mystery. Season of Discovery's focus is placed on exploration and to experience the old, classic world of Azeroth with some new twists added in, including new ways to play your classes and even a new raid curated from one of WoW's original dungeons. The biggest addition to Season of Discovery is the rune engraving system, which lets players add additional spells, stats, or even class roles to their classic toolkit. The best part about this system is that there is no reagent cost or anything of that nature. All you have to do is locate the rune in the world, learn it, and you can freely apply it to the specified armor slot of your character, unlocking whatever perks are tied to the rune. I will say it has been refreshing to see an emphasis put on player interaction for the first couple of days since launch, where players are actively communicating in general chat about what runes are where, and teaming up to complete tasks together aside from the usual dungeon runs. In this video, we're going to look at some of the hunter runes available in the Duratar starting area, where orcs and trolls begin their classic journey. I will not be covering the first two runes you will find as you start off in Valley of Trials in depth, as they naturally find their way into your inventory, but I will touch on them briefly. The Rune of Chimera Shot is received after completing the initial rune quest given to you by your class trainer. The next rune you will encounter very early on is an especially powerful one. Hunters will find the Rune of Explosive Shot when they slay Sarkoth, the named Scorpid Quest monster in Valley of Trials. Both of these runes are placed on your glove's armor slot. One of the next runes you will have the opportunity to encounter on your journey goes onto your chest armor slot and is the Rune of Marksmanship. You want to make your way west of Razor Hill, just past the last couple of Quillbore encampments on the south side of the road leading to the Barrens and locate this rustling bush. Cast your Hunter's Mark on the bush to reveal the Razormane Poacher. Defeat the Poacher and you will loot your Rune of Marksmanship, teaching you to engrave your chest armor with the new rune. Master Marksman gives you 5% increased chance to crit across the board and gives 25% mana cost reduction on all your shots, which is huge and is definitely something you'll be using early and often on your armor. Another rune hunters can track down in Durotar is the Rune of Flanking. The search for this rune starts by hunting dire modeled boars outside of Razor Hill. These boars have a chance to drop a Durotar pig meat, which says it can be used as bait near an island cat's dwelling. This not-so-subtle hint should send you on your way to the Echo Isles. After you head to the northernmost of the Echo Isles, you will find beast tracks located on the ground. These tracks, when interacted with, spawn a Hunter's Vision, a ghost-like white tiger NPC that leads you from one track to the next track. After clicking the final track, you are led to the ruins area where there are animal carcasses on the ground. Use the Durotar pig meat here to lure out the white tiger, Raluk. Worth noting here, while he is aggressive and will attack right after he spawns, he does not spawn claim to you, so another character can take him if you don't hit him right away. He moves quickly, and the area is surrounded by aggressive tiger mobs, so ranging away from him may prove difficult. But you can pretty easily get him down by just meleeing him. After he is down, you can loot the Rune of Flanking from the Tiger and apply the Flanking Strike ability to your Leg Armor. This is especially helpful when you are leveling early as a Hunter without a pet and also doesn't take an important hand or chest rune slot. The final rune you can hunt down in Durotar as of the making of this video is the Rune of Carving. This rune does require you to have completed your level 10 Hunter class quest where you learn Tame Beast. You want to head west of Razor Hill and kill Quillbores there until you receive the item Adder Pheromones. This item allows you to use Tame Beast on an Adder Critter, which are found everywhere in the zone. Once you find your Adder, pop your Pheromone and cast Tame Beast. The Adder instantly becomes your companion for 10 minutes, so don't forget to complete this before time runs out. After you have your Adder, head to Razor Hill and locate the Troll Snake Charmer NPC. 
he has an interaction pop up that says you found him a friend and he gifts you with your shiny new rune. This rune teaches you the melee AoE ability Carve, which is able to be applied to your glove armor. Unfortunately, this may not see immediate use due to both explosive and chimera shot runes also needing to be placed on your glove armor, but it's definitely worth picking up while you're in the zone questing. That wraps up this guide for tracking down the hunter runes you can find in Duratar. I hope this guide helped you on your journey inside World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel and check out some of my other videos. Until next time, I hope you enjoy the mystery and adventure of Season of Discovery, and I'll see you again soon.